The ash experiment is one of psychology's oldest and most popular pieces of research. A volunteer is told that he's taking part in a visual perception test. What he doesn't know is that the other participants are actors and he's the only person taking part in the real test, which is actually about group conformity. Please begin. The experiment you will be taking part in today involves the perception of line length. Your task will be simply to look at the line here on the left and indicate which of the three lines on the right is equal to it in length. So, for example, if you the actors right. have been told to match the wrong lines. The volunteer will be monitored to see if he gives the correct answer or if he goes along with the opinion of the group and gives the wrong answer. In the first test, the correct answer is two. Uh, one. 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 <laughs> two. One. Once again, the correct answer is two. Three. 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 The Ash Conformity Experiment has been repeated many times. It's been suggested that, first, the distortion happens at the level of action. The subject believes the others are wrong, yet goes along with them anyway. Then it happens at the level of judgment. The subject begins to think, maybe they're seeing something I'm not seeing. And then, it happens at the level of perception, which means that the subject's actual perception of what's right or wrong is distorted by the majority. Now, when you link these conclusions to what's happening in the world today, you have to ask, in what way have we been using the influence of society? which is probably the most powerful force in human psychology.